you did a great job searching for all the clues, and I'm so excited to show you how they solved today's mystery. We do that by looking in the best book ever. Super Detectives, do you want to hear a true story from the Bible? Yes! Let's all click on our listening ears. Click, click! Now let's all put on our detective goggles. Zoop, zoop! You look ready to solve today's mystery for sure. As you listen to today's story, keep your eyes open for the three clues you found. To find out if God made everything, we can look in a book of the Bible called Genesis. It says that long, long ago, after God made the sky, ground, water, and animals, he was glad to see all the beautiful things he had made. But God was not finished. God took some dust from the ground and made a boy named Adam. God told Adam to name all of the animals. God even planted a beautiful garden for Adam to live in. But God was still not finished. God didn't want Adam to be alone, so he made a girl named Eve to be Adam's friend and helper. Adam and Eve were very happy. Adam and Eve lived in the beautiful garden together and enjoyed its colorful fruits and vegetables. Just like God made Adam and Eve, God made you and God made everything. When we look around our world, we'll see that God made everything, even you and me. Because you did such a great job searching high and low to solve today's mystery, I want to reward you with a special mystery medal. This medal will help you remember that God made everything. Super Detectives, let me hear you say that after me. God, God made, made everything. everything. Great job. Keep your detective eyes open this week and see if you can search for things that God has made. I hope to see you again soon. Cloodles! <laughs>